Welcome back, folks. How y'all doing? FS19 here on Ravenport once again. Look at our property maintenance. 381 vehicle leak. Running costs is 156. Loan interest is 5,280, folks. Whew. Uh, got some seeds got to get off the ground there, it looks like. Um, let's see. Let's go down here. I'm going to slow time down because I'm going to go to a bench over here and take a nap to speed it up to morning. And then I think we have a wheat field we want to have to go harvest. Woo, coon. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, no on that. Right here. Shut my light out. I said shut my light out. There we go. Uh, it's midnight, so seven hours. Uh, let's go to seven hours. See what it puts us. <laughs> oh, great demand at spinnery. Great demand at spinnery. Our time is down. Uh, so Myers got me to 751. Okay, so it's eight o'clock in the morning, guys. Um yeah, this is what I want. Uh okay, yeah, I dropped the fertilizer spreader there because we're using a tractor now. I almost forgot. Duh. Um Yeah. So much for a great demand. I wish it was a way we could tell how much was in there. Which there is. Oh, I was right or a feel. Uh, first stage of being ready, so it is ready. So, we can go to more stages. And it does help if you go to the last. This is a little bit, probably about 200, 300 liters if that I think I don't I can't remember for sure but go watch Mr. Silly P uh, he's got a bunch of testing over he's been doing um, but um, yeah I was going to check out something of course we ain't got the money for it but I've been wanting to buy 14 for some reason it's 102,000 a little over 102 with 20 is 227, 227. Ooh, that's a good show, folks. Uh, what kind of, we got harvest. Uh, we can harvest 18, but who, what are we going to get? Well, we'll get about 2,000 out of it, probably. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no siree. Oh, no siree, no. Good money there. Uh, just, uh, I'm not in the mood for doing no uh, sugar beet training. Well, then again, we might, folks. Not Mr. Blue. You lost your mind? It's just, it's only one thing about it, is the hauling. There is a uh, vehicle out now. Um, what is that? Cane potato technology. Let's go beat technology. Go all the way back to the back. You can see right here it's 16.7 meters. That's just for the head, the 104,000. Uh, largest is 5.4. Then you jump to a 16.7 meters at 10 miles per hour, folks. You know what? How you going to be stopping? Um, taking this back. And go to potatoes, it should be the same head over up 16.7 to 10 miles per hour. 
I don't know if he's got one for Kane. Um, yeah, right here. 16.7. This <clears throat> it's only 20,000 liters of solids wood chips and chaff and that buggy right there like it would be in the tippers now we gotta go back to the tractors here um so different machineries okay go all the way over to the last one it'll be this in here triple wide multi fruit pack a hundred thousand liters at a time that would be good for a semi truck, but at that this woo, uh, hundred thousand liters, twenty four mile an hour working speed, which our header only does ten. So, uh, but it does cotton, potatoes, sugar beets, rice cane, and I think that's chaff. Not for sure. You should click on it and it'll tell you, but. With these other guys, oh, that's a different. That's a different machine. Um, twenty-four mile an hour, but it don't say. I think that's the driving speed. But we could do sugar beets and just rent this machine here. Now, what would it lease for? Uh, twenty-five thousand. So twenty five thousand for the lease on that, and just to check the head real quick, folks, to see how much it would lease for, since it's a hundred thousand. And so I said twenty five, and so that's thirty thousand. I think I said uh, twenty five and five, so it's thirty. And we do that mission here. So thirty thousand, we get twenty four thousand profit. If we use our own. Uh, it'd be leasing the sugar beet machine and a header and using our own truck. So is it worth it? I don't know. Could be half the price. So, um, but it's the next day. We need to get our combine rolling. I got in the back here. Is that lime? Yeah, I got lime in the back. We're going to need it. So, just trying to think, folks. We need to get the hay into the barn. That's what I was working on. I was using this tractor here, stacking them in. It is pretty easy. But Whoa. Is it worth it? Uh, might be when seasons get here. Uh, okay. When seasons get here, it, it'll be worth it to put in the shed because that way it won't disappear. But when you don't have it, you don't really need to. But I'm just doing it for the looks and plus get it out of the way because I want to make a road down through here. Whoa, easy. But, um, yeah, we really need to get this guy going. So, folks, what I'm going to do instead of lagging up all the time, I'm going to do a jump cut uh, and get this guy harvesting. Then I'm going to get the semi truck down there. Then I'm going to get uh, Ferb Russell's bales put away. Uh, we got to get the seeds up before it rains. The birds cook them all off. Um, got to get a front loader. So after we get the straw bales in the barn, we'll come get the front loader. But anyway, folks, I'm going to do a jump cut here. 
Uh, like I said, I'm gonna take this down there, get it started on the uh, wheat. That way we hopefully get the fields all worked up and planted and then go from there. So I'll be back in a minute. Well, back in a second. All right, everybody. I have the combine up there. I have the semi up there. The fertilizer bucket is already up there, but I don't know what it has in it, lime or fertilizer. Um, I'm taking, I got the cultivator on the front of this tractor and the plow on the back because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to have it plowed. But I'm taking all this up there for, well, we're going to need it. But I got to get the straw off the ground first. I don't know what I was thinking. Now, as you can see, I do have, oop. I think I kind of buy a knock the sign down. Uh, I, I'm in the hole almost $5,000. I need to take our baler back and get the new additional baler, do an upgrade on it. I don't know if the store is going to let me get a, a uh, uh, for the same price or not. And of course, as you can see, we have uh, some money sitting here on this trailer. And probably some money sitting there in that box and tray. Oh yeah, we got money sitting in the trailer. So uh, got some logs laying around. And we got some grass we can build too. But folks, but and let's see here. I'm gonna need the cultivator first. So I'm gonna park it right here. Not to block the trailer. Let's see. And this uh, plow likes to turn over when it's setting up, so I'm actually just going to let it down. I want to park it in a somewhat angle with the heel here. Well, opposite angled in the hill. And Bingo was his name. Oh. Now let's uh, let's skip that for right now. Um, yeah, there, there's a new baler out that I want, folks. Um, I downloaded another. Uh, cart like this and back behind go in the store real quick and go to auger wagons this is the original I also downloaded something else um, you see right here the star uh, rebook ninja 33,000 um, we're gonna probably gonna get this for auger wagon um, you can put this stuff in it, but this in here, you can put all that stuff in it, including lime. So, uh, I don't know if it's got a tarp to it or not. Uh, capacity, let's go this way for the max. Be 38,000. Oh, what we got here? Oh, yeah, nice stars. Wide tires. I like those. Go back to these. Yeah, I think we'll go with those. It'll raise up just a little bit, as you can see. But just want to see. Yes, it does have a tarp to it. So, yeah, 38,000 liters of lime would go quite a ways, folks. So, uh, now just look at my phone. My phone's going crazy, folks. It's, it really is. But, um, yeah. But anyway, this and Stevie here that does this stuff. This here will just do seeds, fertilize, and lime. Now, I like it because, you know, it does all this, but really. We only got this for 
her uh, seeds and line. But I got to jump that back up to what Stevie's is. Stevie's 50,000. 25 in the front, 25 in the back. Well, I'll make this and that. And we'll probably swap this out to this one. Um, just want to make sure that we can change the colors on this. Let's see. Case I H red. And let's go with red on this also. Yeah, see, we make it look the same thing. Actually, it looks like an auger's longer. So we'll probably be swapping these out again. <laughs> I gotta get some monies first, so folks. And plus, I gotta upgrade it. <clears throat> but anyway, I, I I really don't know where I'm at right now. I'm I'm very confused, folks. Um, the combine. Oh, we have to catch it when it's on this end. Let's see. Let me just go on around the trailer. Um, I'm going to have to do some grass patches out here first, but I want to mow this grass before we start patching it and stuff. Uh oh, can I hook up sideways? Yeah. Uh, this ain't quite full yet. So what I'll probably do off screen is uh, fill this thing up. And then we ain't got too many trees. I want to show you all what trees we got left. We got stump there. We got to get what I've been doing. You can see it there by the trailer. I've been cutting these bad trees. I call them bad trees down. Getting the stump like that out of it because that's where the wood's at. And then uh, wood chipping the rest. But you can see no bad trees there. We just got one, two, three, four fir trees right there. And this sucker here, he's and those are some long, long trees right there, but they're bad trees. But they're the brown ones. With the brown stump. Uh there's another one. I want those to go flat on the trailer because they're long. Um I do have two more. I really, I, there's one bad tree there and one bad tree there, then a brown bad tree, then a white brown tree, or bad tree, and then brown. I don't know how, how far up the hill we can go. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right there is the stop of the hill. But I think we can actually cut this tree. Yep, we can. Um... Don't know about these two. I think they was. Yeah, see, so as far as you can go. So those two trees there can't be cut. So the rest of the trees will be down there on new ground I bought, which is uh almost by the chicken pen. And speaking of the chicken pen, let's see. I'm gonna pull this guy up, and we're going to. I wish they would come on out with the uh, inspector mod or the glance mod. That way we can tell how much the combines got in it without actually. Well, well, well that's kind of like what the inspector mod is. Top right, it says Heifer A has nearly full grain tank. But it actually tells you how much is in there. That mod was awesome. I know you're not supposed to climb on this side, but hey. And since we're almost full. Oh, well, we just try on the field. We're going to have a, a new baler that's going to actually take care of all this straw without a wind roller. And I want to experiment with the grass. To see if it actually teds it. Or, or if it does something else. And I think we have a mission on uh, 14 to do. Uh, 17 needs harvesting. But no, it's potatoes. Um, 18? 
and it goes to restaurant. Now our wheat we're not going to sell because we don't have none. Um, we just got oats. We have to get some wheat because if I'm not mistaken, uh, our chickens uh, needs to be clean and we need wheat for our chickens. So uh, they're all at 95%, so it's not bad. But uh, I'm going to start setting some of these missions and using our combine and truck. Um, reason why I want to do that for is use that money to update the trailer on the truck. So uh, 18's right across the road somewhere here. Right there. So we, we can do that. I know it's not that much money, but hey. Every little bit counts. And this combine holds quite a bit, you know. It done half of the field pretty much, so but anyway, um I'm rumbling here. If we get I know we won't. Because it'll be about sixteen thousand. So I say if we fill the front, we'll sell whatever's left after after that, but yeah. And this is another thing where that uh, one auger wagon would come in handy of running our grain back to the silo and dumping. And I hate tapping around all this, but uh, yeah. Um, I don't know exactly how far up we can go this way. I'm pretty sure we can. See, our upness goes quite a ways. Oh, right there. I need to mark that. Um, see, it goes straight with that one tree there, if you can see the top of it. So we could bring this field and stuff out a little bit more. Um... If it'll go that way down there. So what I'm trying to do is. See it goes out right there. Let me go down here. I know y'all probably getting seasick or whatever. What I'm trying to do. Is get a marker. See right there. This collision. Goes up in there. I need to find where that collision is the shortest. And y'all can probably hear that train. Whoa. Oh. Thank God I got the uh, lift anything mod. And the place anything mod. Hey, you want to do a little change? Huh. <laughs> but I have figured out something. Uh, where's my hand? Uh, you can hit the LB button. Oh, other way. And you can rotate these things. Alright, landed on me. Alright, landed on me. I can't get out. Come on now. We'll hit Eve on the keyboard to take care of that. But as I was saying, I'm trying to find where the collision is right here. And let's just go this way. And see if we can find it again. Right there. So I'm thinking those bushes right there. Because I can go out to the left of that brown tree right there, brown stump tree. I'm, I'm trying to uh, 
see exactly where because I'm thinking about right in here if I can go all the way to down in there what I want to do is to the right of this tractor find a low point out there somewhere and come in here and take down all these hills right here up to here and then kind of slant it like it is way down there right in here and then divide my field out a little bit more and then up in there to the highway so we have more of a feel there so that's the missions uh, or missions plans or whatever you want to call it uh, to come in the future for this section here um, what I'm going to do is pretty much drive straight as I can and go down through here Okay, I'm good right there. Because you see how that is? Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. See, there's collision right here. Okay, so my plans ain't going to work. What I can do is bring that down. And see, this is not flat either. It's hilly. But whatever I do, like if I do anything to this, it's going to take fertilization and all that way. So that's why what I want to do, this is good except for this. I guess what I'm going to have to do is just work on this down here. And you see right there in that corner, the corner of that field there, that goes up we can't have that I, I need to smooth this out lower this down some to start right here go through here and lower this down all the way over so basically it's up okay I'll lower some of this hill down too but gonna be working on all this folks so uh, gotta get some money first though so, so. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to leave the truck here, that combine. Oh. Yeah, he, he's not really quite halfway. Um, but he's doing pretty good. Not quite half. He's... Probably got about three to four throughs left where it looks tell you what I dehired them and I'm just going to move them to this other side here so I can kind of get a rough estimate and as you can see the header takes away the lime to where you put down lime so I have to redo that. But uh, let's see here. What I'm going to do probably. Is get our 6M. I want to finish put this uh, straw in. And. Um. I was supposed to do that while I moved everything down, but I got sidetracked. Probably going to finish putting the straw in, and then um, I'm going to... I'm really having trouble saying this, ain't I, folks? <laughs> I'm going to let the combine get done while I'm doing this, and probably work on trees if I can. And this is in between the episodes yeah yeah watch it you go through the through the room there um get my hat back up here and i want to unload bales unload bales here and that'll drop them down and then i'll just kind of 
push them forward. Yeah, to spin out. And that's up against the wall. And then I'll just back out. And go get some more. Well, folks, I really don't know how long I got this. I can't remember how long the first clip is. Let's see. I'm on a lower tra transport. And uh, I should be good to go grab three more. And there we go. And it does make them visible, but hey, at least it's on there. Don't have to worry about them falling off, and we we're getting them stacked inside. So that's about the best I can ask for. But I also want to go get that other load from the uh, barn and get it out of the way. Whoa. I'm just going to unload to there. That's if I unload again. That's going to uh, drop them. So I'm going to make sure it's where I can drop them. Like that right there. And slide them up in there. Into place. Perfecto. But yeah, I don't know how long the episodes are. So uh, I'm going to finish doing this, folks. Take care of Combine, do a couple of missions, and I will see y'all on the next episode where uh, we'll probably do more field work and mowing. We got to mow our field here. So uh, what I'm going to do is get some missions so I can trade out our baler. So I look forward to that next episode and field work. All right, thank you for coming out and visiting. I hope y'all enjoy. And um, don't forget, folks, go down below in my description. Check out the other YouTubers. Say hi to them for me. Tell them I sent you. Um, and, uh, folks, I guess that's it. So uh, appreciate y'all coming out. Till next time. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see y'all later. Alrighty. Bye.